Well, here we are. I just uh, wanted to do a little quick show of some of the electrical that we're about to do. Because lots has been done for the electrical in the last little while. And this three-way box that I've got going on right now, i got my power coming in. And it's going to go to a three-way switch here, which goes up to the loft in the bedroom. And it's going to go to an outdoor switch, just uh, which is going to be right here, uh, which is also right there outside. And then I have this switch here for the loft, for actually the master loft. So I got a regular switch, regular switch, oh no, a dimmer switch, regular switch, regular switch. So, and that's a normal one. This is a three way. So a lot of this has got to get wired in and make sure it's as smooth as possible. So I'm gonna pick away this for a while. Back when I started building this tiny house, I bought this book, How to Build a Tiny House. Anyways, it had electrical information in there on three-way switches and plugs and lights and all that. Uh, I followed that pretty, pretty well, I believe. Okay, that's officially done. This is powered up. I got my light switch here for the lights up above. One light up here, right in front of the front door here. And then this is my three-way switch for the lights up top. Looking back up, they should be off now. We got them hanging right now. Got one, two, three, four, off. And obviously a three dimmer switch. I should be able to flick it on here. And look at that, boom, we got lights. Pretty awesome. I even went up there and checked it out that uh, the, three, the dimmer on the other side works too. What I'm gonna work on right now there's these pot lights. This one here, I'll pull that one down. And that one here. What I have to do is I gotta wire through, I know this is a crazy video. I'm gonna take this hole here and I'm gonna run a wire down this ridge and then down the ridge here and to the power, which is right there. And the same thing, I gotta actually router a groove and then down and over. We're gonna router this groove next. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Sailing Abbey. Thank you for joining us today. Some of our subscribers already know that we live in British Columbia, Canada and sail all year round and adventure with our seven children. These next few episodes, we're showing our build of our tiny house that we built as a family. In all these episodes, you can see how we started from a 20-foot trailer triple axle to framing, siding, insulation, cedar shakes, electrical, plumbing, and even the metal roof. The interior was completed with mostly reused finishings. We purchased local materials including rough cut fur beams and custom made shingles. All of our children chipped in at different areas of the build. And watch how it was shipped and barged through the Chatham Channel up to our acreage of five acres of off-grid grizzly and cougar territory. As we set up the solar panels and the solar system, complete the well along with everything else, please follow us and subscribe and enjoy the ride. So let's do a little update on today's successes. This is the kids loft and they're lit up. That's on a three-way switch, which is a pretty neat little spot. Uh, I got it tucked in here. So when they climb up their ladder, boom, boom, boom. I got their little three-way switch and I can turn it off down here. That is gonna be super handy for when they forget their lights. And into what I call the family living room the fireplace i have these outlets here one is for outside this is my dimmer for the led lights i'm going to be putting up here which are going to be above kind of my my couch and then i have another just an outlet here for power up top um, and over here i'm going to put a light switch 
which is that one here, because I really think that we need to put a ceiling fan or something on these upper beams. So these upper beams are very, very supportive. But I think the heat and everything in here might need a ceiling fan. Let's try and get all the air moving everywhere. So, oh, back over here for a second. Down at the bottom here, I did one, two, three outlets in the living area. I know that's overkill, but really easy to do right now. I have to do the same thing as the other side. I need to put down the tongue and groove pine, and then I got to uh, put down my sheets of plywood, um, and then put the two pot lights in, and that area is done. Then I gotta clean, let's clean this place up, kind of gut it out, and I want to install right here, just to the right of my my uh, electric panel. I want to install my hot water on demand. I need my plumbing all done for this, like quite a bit of plumbing. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna be easier or harder than the electrical. I think it's gonna be actually easier because uh, I don't have to plan it out as much. Yeah. That's the next steps. This has been good. I've been labeling all my wires here. So, you know, kids loft, living room, kitchen outlets, main loft, front door switches, appliances, main loft, bathroom. Yeah, pretty good. I can know what's going on and then I can transfer that to the panel that's up here a little bit later. We're doing something big today. We're gonna go look at a boat. Now, this boat we're looking at is a Campion 18-footer with an inboard Volvo 4.3 liter gasoline engine. And it also has, I believe, a 9.9 .9 kicker Yamaha. It looks kind of older, but not crazy old. But the boat's in fantastic shape. And so we're gonna go take a peek at it, take it for a rip today and uh, see whether or not we can handle some weather. The nice thing actually about uh, the weather today is that it's kind of crappy outside, which means there should be a little bit of fetch and uh, the wind should make a little bit of waves and stuff like that. So that's helpful. But this is the boat that we're gonna be using to get to and from the tiny house, which is a big deal. And it needs to be big enough and small enough small enough to tow, big enough to put all the stuff inside and uh, get everybody to and from the property without a problem. Uh, very few times I think we'll actually have everybody and like the girls might not come as much as we think. And uh, we'll just see, but uh, it needs to be functional. Out for a rip, meeting Barry for the first, second time. We're uh, taking the Campion out for a little cruise here. Squimal Lagoon area. Yeah, yeah, the heater's on, we're warm. The weather's not so hot, but uh, we're doing well. Well, it's official. That was an adventure to come home. What a pain to buy something and it not work exactly what you wanted. But this is beautiful and functional. And after doing some work on the brakes, no issues, zero. That's fantastic. Down the highway, everything, no problems. Everything's still looking good. Drove well, pulled no problem. I'm stoked, it's great. So I see this and I thought this was cute. Lennox somehow seems to have put his name on some territory on the tiny house. Just in the middle of nowhere, he decided to write his name right there. I saw his name like five other places. I think they've been covered up since then. I don't see any others right now. That's pretty cute. Hi Lennox, one of your 
six years old. Uh -huh. You got all the way through? Look at what you, so you zigzagged it up. Do you know why you did that? So we staple up the wood. It, uh, we don't staple into the, we can actually still staple into the wood and then it doesn't staple into the wire. Um, you, uh, can you feed it into that, that uh, outlet box there? Like I did on the top one. Remember you cut the hole? Yeah, cut the hole up there, yeah. And then try and feed it into the box. From the top? Yep. Push it down through the top. It goes through. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it goes through right here, bud. Watch, it'll go through right, if you push it through right there. It's plenty of thing to wear, yeah. We try and push it straight through and down. Yeah, straight through the box that goes through. There, you go. So you take a look inside. See it? I'm just gonna pick it out of there. Pull it out a little bit more. So, there you go, that's plenty. Done, so that's how we do it. So now take this and cut this down here, all the way through, don't cut yourself. Put your fingers, there you go. Nice, nice work, okay. And separate it. Inside is a white and a black wire. You know, one is hot, one's neutral, what do you think? White's hot. I mean, black is hot, white's neutral. Okay, so cut off the extra insulation. Just get a little snip there. And try and go away from you. Yeah, up and away, that's great. Pull harder. There you go, okay, good. Okay, now do you want to expose these wires by like a, a half an inch? You can uh, strip them. It says 14, you see 14 on there? Strip them 14. Like as thick as your thumbnail, yeah. There you go, that looks great. And it's pull. Pull towards you. Good. Do the other one. Make sure it's on the 14. Pinch and then pull. Good, okay. top and the bottom. Cool. And then I have to uh, put an outlet somewhere here. Kind of in a nice spot maybe. Maybe there. Well, maybe it would be better if it was on this side. You can't see it as good. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. On that side. Nice. Yeah. Amazon is where you got that from. Yeah. Camplex. It's like my new Canadian tire. Looking for your pencil? I'm looking for pencil. <laughs> that is why I buy seven pencils. There it is. That's a cool <laughs> Alright, so we do an outlet about here, I think. Yeah. That should get out of the way. How'd you cut through the hardy plank on the outside? Oh my god. Uh, my skill saw, then my my hole saw. I kind of wrecked my hole saw because it's the hardy plank is too uh, too hard, and then I drilled a whole bunch of holes and big enough for me to get my saws all in there, and then I saws all but a hundred times. And, yeah, but there's my hole. So what yeah. I think we need to do is we'll get another one of these. This is my favorite noise so far today. And then it'll be protected, insulation will be protected. I think that's good. This isn't even supposed to get that hot. Okay, good. That sounds you know, okay. So, yeah. It's pretty thick. It's good. Okay. Love you.
Well, I think it's time to start doing some insulation. I've got a lot of it. Maybe need to get some rubber gloves. We should do that. Um, I'm gonna cut in some of these smaller areas. I'm gonna start, I just wanted to start working on it. So I uh, finished this off today. I'm going to insulate all the cavities and then I'll vapor barrier it afterwards. Natasha has my staples for my hammer stapler. So I can't do that yet. From that, pretty good. I think I'm gonna start cutting. I'm gonna start working. I'm gonna get some gloves. Gloves would be good. Maybe a mask too. <laughs> yeah, you are. Were you getting married in a tiny house? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be yeah. fine. I don't care where we get married as long as we get married. Okay. We're getting married at Portland Island. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Look at that. This is the day before Katya and her friends destroy it. See, I wanted to put on some lights and make it look like someone cares. Oh, look nice. I think it'll look pretty good. And I'm still boxing these uh, wheel wells. And then start putting some uh, walls up, insulation and walls. Oh, look at that little cute face. That's what happens when you ride a bike and you crash and burn. Into the pavement face first. Well, we're going to be in the middle of insulating the ceiling right now. Then we can put some wood up afterwards. It's going to get this plastic started here. Let me prepare it. Well, as you know, yesterday we finished the insulation. And the insulation is uh, looking pretty good. And what I wanted to do today is I wanted to work on some of the ceiling. So I'm going to start putting up some of my tongue and group pine. And I pre-stained it all right here. And that is going up. So I'm gonna start a little time lapse and we'll see how long it takes to get some ceiling done. Today is June 22nd, the second day of summer. And it is hot up here. We got that window open and that window open. Okay, this is looking pretty awesome. Trying to give you a couple points of view, but honestly, just loving it. Loving it. And then all tucked in there. Ceiling is done over here. That's looking beautiful. Okay, it's a good day. It's official. The fishing gear is arrived. Downriggers, prawn traps, the whole business. Right? Here it comes. <laughs> Oh, look at this our prawn puller two scotty downriggers and our new line oh it's gonna be so good hey thanks for watching sailing abbey we got lots done lots of electrical some plumbing hot water tank a whole bunch of stuff in the next few episodes we're gonna finish off the the walls and the roof and the flooring maybe even install this bathroom tub Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy the ride.